Today's adventure brings me to Oakland, California, off in the distance, by the way, as a recording of this, Monday, May 2nd, 2022. A monumental stadium that has been around for well over 50 years. The Oakland Coliseum. It's gone through a series of names. A series of sports teams has played there. But now, current day, 2022, only one. The Oakland A's, who I will be seeing going up against the Tampa Bay Rays. My first time in the stadium. Rooted in Oakland since 1968, the sign says there on the side. Take a look at that. Spelled out across the lawn with the A's emblem right there on either side. It says, welcome everyone. Well, it says welcome. Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. My friend Alex, tagging along as well, who lives 20, 30 minutes from here, up a little bit past Berkeley. You are wearing an appropriate hat. You have the retro looking cap on. Oh yeah. How many different games have you been to at this stadium? Yeah, about five or six. Five or six? Yeah. I've been to zero. So it'll be my first time. What are some of the nicknames the stadium has? Something about a dive bar? It's baseball's last dive bar. Baseball's last dive bar. You said it's a very interesting place. I am looking forward to checking out what it's going to be like inside. Oh, it's the best. It's the best? <laughs> <laughs> All right. He says it's the best. I, I'm excited. Why do you say it's the best? Oh, it's just like, you know, it's your last, like, you know, kind of rundown stadium. You know, everything seems kind of affordable. Uh, the Raiders played here. We opened oh, yeah. Raiders for a while. Raiders now, who else? Oh, I mean, Hazer. I mean, the Warriors just play right, uh, right next door. Oh, the Warriors right over there on that one? Over yonder. Oh, in that big circular looking building? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know. So, as of right now, the only sports team in Oakland is the A's, correct? The A's. And there's a possibility, there's rumor they may go to Vegas and other places. What do you, what, you want to, you don't know? I, I, I watch on the news all the time, and uh, I hope that uh, we're going to keep them here, but we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Either way, I am here, and part of the reason I wanted to, to show up here is because I don't know if I will be ever, I don't know if the Rays will ever be playing in this stadium for years to come, so... Now's the time. That's the time. And we're going to be sitting next to each other, rooting for different teams. It'll be fun. <laughs> Join me and Alex, who's wearing a sweet retro hat. I have a fitted hat, and I have a jacket I'm going to put on. You're wearing a flannel. You know, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the bay. That's, that's the bay way? It's the bay way. <laughs> Join me. Shall you? And the entry point into parking is located on Coliseum Way and 66th Ave. Two hours before first pitch is when the parking area opens, and that time is just, a, what time is it now? Do you have your watch on you? It's 4.33. 4.33, first pitch is at 6.40, and they have just started letting cars in, so I guess it'd be two hours and five minutes before. I'm gonna pull my car over from across the street where I parked it, and head through the little archway there that says, rooted in Oakland since 68. It's an old stadium. And the attendance in there, I think it holds like 55, 60,000, 65,000. There will not be that many in there this evening. It's also Big the Foot's first time on this property. <laughs> not sure how much parking is, but I'll have to find out. $30 is the price to park. I kind of feel like Clark Griswold. First one's here. First one's here. I've been hearing that the attendance at the A's games has actually been less than the TROP. So two teams that do not draw huge crowds are playing together today. So probably will not be a packed house. Uh, the wind is kind of scattering around. It's kind of blowing the jacket around. So I'm going to put this on. It's going to get a little crisper as the sun goes down. Also, this field has been renamed. It has a lot of different names. But the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum, but also Ricky Henderson Field. There's Ricky Henderson, right up there in the middle of the, is this the back of the scoreboard? I am pretty dang excited to be here, not just because the team I root for is playing against the A's, 
but being a baseball follower in general from my younger years, I know a lot of the A's players, like Dennis Eckersley right here, and so many historical moments have taken place inside this stadium that I'll point out once I'm in there. So that's gonna be pretty cool. This says, welcome to the ballpark as we're going around the edge. Oh yeah, who could forget Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, the Bash Brothers. I guess that's because Canseco was 33, right? Either way, they're doing the Bash Brothers little arm thing, which can be two me. They bashed a lot of home runs, but they also bashed their forearms together near their elbows. Hence, the Bash Brothers. Okay, I kind of sort of realize why it's so empty at the moment. It's 5.05 .05 at this moment at 4.540, one hour before first pitch at 6.40. They finally opened the gates, went up to the front, they said, no, they're not open until an hour before at 5.40. I have never seen a stadium, even Tropicana Field was 90 minutes before first pitch before being allowed in. Most stadiums, two hours before. Oakland Coliseum, one hour. It just basically gives you enough time. Probably not gonna even see any batting practice. Just kind of go in, do a quick loop around the stadium. It'll be time for National Anthem and the first pitch. Never seen a stadium one hour before, interesting. And there are a few people out tailgating and more showing up as soon front gates will be open. Also, this is kind of becoming a something I've been doing recently, but going to quite a few stadiums, going to watch the Rays, the team I root for. I'm trying to think, this will be the fourth one. I have been to Guaranteed Rate Stadium to watch the Rays against White Sox. I've been to Wrigley Field to watch the Rays against the Chicago Cubs. And I also went to the Rays 2A team, the Montgomery Biscuits. So this will be the fourth stadium this year for the 2022 stadium that I'm going to, other than the Trop, obviously. I'm seeing someone over there wearing a Wander jersey. That's pretty awesome. First one in line. I'm also wearing my, my Wander underneath my jacket. Also, if you ever seen the movie Moneyball, we filmed parts of that in here and it was based on the events, 2002, I believe. 20 game in a row wins for the A's. Pretty awesome movie and a pretty awesome walk-off home run. At about two minutes before gates open, this is the congregation of folks over in the lines next to up there making an announcement. Making an announcement right now. About to go in. All right, going through the Dennis Eckersley gate. I got my tickets on the phone. I pull the tickets out, scan it, and going in. All right, first walking in, there is a merchandise store there. And then you got the 1992 Cy Young Award up here for Dennis. Look at this. There is just Dennis stuff everywhere. All right into this classically old stadium. And I would imagine because getting in here so late for the game, well, an hour before, not gonna see any batting practice. They probably all pulled all the batting practice. All right, this is Ryan Dalton. He said, hi, you're gonna tell me something about this stadium that I should check out. Give me one good thing. Obviously the left field and right field bleachers. The bleacher seats, so are the drummers, bleachers. the drummers are out in right field? Right field, and we have, we don't have, we have flags in the-, in the Oh, you got, look at, we're in Tampa Bay. Yeah. Raise up. Nice, good yeah, to see you. So right field, left field, it's a family. So we family, family. So we're fan, we're fan, okay. we're friends. See, is that where you're gonna be in right field? I'm gonna be, in, I'm gonna be I sit in left and right, okay. but I'm in left field tonight. Sounds good, so, I'll, go, I'll go out there and I'll see yeah, you out there. So I appreciate you and I love your videos. So Awesome man, good to see you Thank you, dude. you Adam. Yeah man. Of course. There you go, there you go, over here. There you go. Got Zunino back here, warming up, yeah, pretty freaking cool. Coming out of the pitching machine, there is no batting practice. Also met up here with Gamer Athletics on YouTube. Give me a little tip I should know about about the stadium. Helmet nachos. The nachos? The helmet nachos. Just finishing up the national anthem. About to play ball. This is a pretty good angle here. If it gets to be a riveting game, all the players are gonna be right out here. And this is pretty cool how, just kind of from this angle, getting a pretty good view of all the relief pitchers, all the bullpen, all making their way in from from the locker rooms and everything coming out. It's pretty awesome to see him. I'm also voicing this over because 
first pitch has already begun, but there was like music over, so I'm voicing this over. Oh, there's a pop-up. Oh, foul ball. Someone's got it. <laughs> A lot of empty seats, but this stadium, <laughs> this stadium is huge. How much are the seats up there? I think they're free. Oh, you know what? I think they're 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 tarped off. There, go. that's gone. That's gone. Home run already. Yandy Diaz. That's how it's done. Rounding the bases. Look at this angle. Look at this angle right here. Crushed it. This is so cool. First batter up, Yandi. Franco giving him the high five. Randy Rosarina giving him the high five. I love it. I love this angle. <laughs> it's so quiet in here. Just the size of this place. I do like the fact that there's one billboard there. And then another billboard over here and right, which obviously states that Wander is the second batter up. That was also the quietest home run I've ever heard from crowd reaction. There's, how many people do you think are here total? I heard, I heard the guy say that it was 3,500. 3,500? I think that's a gross over exaggeration. Uh, that's right. I mean, that's what he said. That's what, that's, that's what he said. That's what he said. Less than 1,000? Offer there in right field. That's not Cowbell Max. That is an entire drum crew. But they have drummers out there. That's an entire band. Okay, they've stopped. It's like a full on ensemble. Oh, yeah, I got it. I'm just admiring all this foul ball space. But I just want to show what in the name of heck is going on <laughs> behind home plate. What is this? What is this setup? For the seats behind home plate. Kevin popped it up. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> KK walking off to a drum beat. KK crushed at the trop. I was there to witness it with my dad. A walk off home run win in the 10th inning. Okay, they are putting the louder make some noise icon up on there. See how much noise he's made. I was also noticing the pitcher earlier was throwing over to first to try to get Manny off, who's leading off. And because there's so much foul ball space, if it's like a wild throw. Easily could probably get a base or two out of it. Like if that went if that went wild. That's good for the race, especially if Randy was on first. What are we gonna do for food? What's your favorite stadium food? Here, you've been here five times. The one guy said helmet nachos. I have not had that here. I mean, I'm not trying. Helmet nachos, a dog. They got up from our seats. I'm gonna go find those helmet nachos. Asked one of the ushers. Said it was located at section 128 or around there. He says if they have them. They will be in 128, and I'm kind of just... 128, right? Is that what he said? Look at this beautiful thing. Look at the ends. Look at this little sour cream on there, some cheese, some chicken, and whatnot. I've kind of walked over to this section just to kind of show, like, the perspective from up here, the magnitude of the Oakland Coliseum. You got it too. You got you went sans sour cream. No sour cream on yours. Nope, no sour cream. I always I went like I think maybe they put extra sour cream. Oh, you went with a lot more salsa though. I think they doubled up your salsa. I want to walk over there to right field to hear the drummers. And then there's this area way up here called the tree house. Way up top. This place is far from small. Yeah, this is like elevated up there. Look at Randy over there, all the way in left field. It's like teeny and tiny. This shows the map. Oh, that's a base hit. Dropping in, going home. Up, oh, got a score. It's now one to one, and the stadium got loud. And the mascot of the A's is an elephant. Except I haven't seen the mascot out here today. I've just seen I've seen these elephants, but I haven't seen. Dancing around on the other side. Stomper. Stomper. Oh, Stomper is the. Stomper. Yeah. 
Maybe we'll see Stomper running around. Oh, what's going on? Oh, go, go, go. Wander just got a triple. Also, if you ever seen any of the footage from 20 years ago, when the A's... Oh, my. Wow. Another base hit by the Rays. Hello. I was going to go down there. You said I could come oh, back. No, no, you're cool. You can come down now. But how do I get down there? Oh, you, um, oh, you got to go to the stairs right there. Okay. Come down those stairs and then just turn to your left. Okay. We'll do that. Thank you. I tried to go down there where the drummers were, but I couldn't fix it. The drummer's not really excited right now because the Rays are winning. But back when the A's won 20 games in a row, it was a walk-off win and it landed in those seats right over there. I'm not why I'm holding this dirty napkin. <laughs> but it was right there. Oh, there we go, there we go. Because it landed right in those seats over there. Were you at that game? All right, you just said that you were at that game. Where were you sitting? Sitting in the third deck. Third deck? Near the, on the, uh, Third base side. So you were at history. That was recreated in the movie Moneyball. I was also at the famous Jeter game where he threw out Giambi at home plate. Oh, you were at a lot. How many years have you been going to games here? So, since uh, the late 90s. Since the 90s. So you witnessed history. So it was not Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt played the part of the general manager in Moneyball. Yeah, he, he played Billy Bean. Billy Bean. That was a good era for the A's, right? Oh yeah, great times, the early 2000s. That's awesome. And I was right, I was right, the home run was over there, right? It didn't land like over there. I thought maybe they would mark the seat. For the Tropicana Field, they have the Wade Boggs seat marked in yellow. So instead of blue, the Wade Boggs seat, where he hit the home run, is marked in yellow. Have you seen the Chad Williams seat? I have never, I've been to Fenway once for a tour, but did not, I've never been to a game there. I don't remember if I saw the seat. So they do it at Fenway, they do it at Trop, but they don't hear it do it here. They didn't even mark the Kurt Gibson seat in Dodger Stadium. The big home run to beat Yeah, them. that's the famous Kurt yeah. Gibson home run. We're starting to make our way back to our seats. We just want to show there's no one over here in the team store. I want to know what kind of fish He's trying, I was gonna say, I wanna know what kind of fish he was trying to catch with that, but before I could go into that not so funny joke, he put the pole down to have the cotton candy on it. Was this him coming? Oh no, it's a different, this is a beer vendor. It was just the, the dog catcher with the cotton candy. Ooh. There it is. It's everybody peanut. Is there someone with a horn over there? Oh, look at that. Mike Zunino just batted a run in. Oh yeah, get down. And safe at second. Big Z. Awesome. This is going good for the Rays, and I am here for it. Also move from our other seats because someone has already taken them, but the usher said we could pretty much just kind of sit in this general area. I don't think anyone's going to complain or roll through here and say, get out of my seat. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. And if someone says, hey, you're in our seat, we'll just move over to it. Yeah. Easy. Oh, easy. what's going on here? Over to the bullpen. <laughs> someone got themselves a little souvenir. Of course, it's one of the team players, so they probably don't care. <laughs> you ever gotten a foul ball? Yeah. If I get one tonight, you're only up against about 37 other people pay, pay taking a mission. There's someone with a horn out there. I was going to say, they're, they're a full band now. It's a ska band out in right field. Yeah. Name a ska band from the Bay Area. Oh, Operation Night. Nailed it. It's interesting because some stadiums do not... <laughs> that horn is distracting me. Oh, there's, someone, there's a horn over here. Horn wars.
wanders up. Come on, Wander. Oh, that's it. Boom! RBI. Franco. Another one. Boom! That is how it's done. It's now five to one Tampa Bay. Sunino's so in. Kiermaier coming out to give a little high fiveage. Brett Phillips over there. All right, Brett's gonna give me a toss up. Oh, oh, oh. That's you, Alex. That's you. Oh, oh, bouncing it back. I tried, Brad. I tried. Oh, I just realized what the horn is. It's the sound of the elephant tr trunk. Yeah. That's what that is. That's he, he has, he's got a he's got sinus infection. <laughs> so he's blowing his nose. Up there. If you listen, you can hear the bass. He's up there. See, he's got a little, little congestion in the in the snaz. There it is. There it is. All right, Brad, I'm ready. Oh, 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 oh! Bounce it. Next time, Brad. Next time. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm ready now. There it is. Get it, Alex. Get it. Nailed it. Woo! Got it? Awesome. Brett Phillips toss up there. Love that guy. He's going fast. You can have it. It's a souvenir. It's your book. So I am on the board, as Zach Hample would say. And then also, I met Kevin Kiermaier. Right there. KK. And... I'm consuming a Dr. Pepper right down here. Great weather, great seats, great stadium, great score, five to one. This is almost like a Battle of the Bay in, in its own way. Battle of the Bays. <laughs> Two, <laughs> the Bays. I mean, because it's not, it's not the Giants and the A's. No. It's the A's and the Rays, but they're both Bay teams. Yeah, the East Bay. There it is! Gone! Come on in! Come on in, KK! Woo! How's home plate feel? Feels good! Woo! I love it. It's Kevin Cash right there, too. Awesome. This is so freaking cool. I also forgot to mention, Angels in the Outfield, the movie, was filmed inside the stadium. Now they used the exterior of Angel Stadium in Anaheim. That big Tony Danza, Christopher Lloyd, Danny Glover, Danny Glover played the coach. Joseph so I'm Joseph guessing Lloyd you've Lloyd. seen that. You've seen that film. Huh. You know, you know. Now, did you know that you lived in the same general area as where Angels in the Outfield? was put on to film. I'm just not finding that out. For the very first You're just time. finding that out? Yeah, they had a lot of scenes right over here. Because this was the home dugout in the game right here. It was not over there where the home dugout is here. There's now two outs and full count. Three balls, two strikes. Randy Rosarina at the plate. Oh, that's a... Look at that. Look how big that... Wait, what just happened? Why is he leaving the field? Oh, he's going another bat. He broke the bat. <laughs> Okay, he's going all the way back over the long walk back over to the dugout to get a bat. Oh, someone's rolling the bat out. Look at the ump over here. Is like, can we move the game along, please? Man, what could, you get, could you get? Could you get? The ump's like, all right, let's pick it up, pick up the pace a little bit. But that just shows how far it is to walk over to the dugout. It's like, get winded just walking over here. It's like the Denver Airport. The Denver Airport. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking all, this is called the mountain up there. Someone's mountain, the top level, oh, uh, where the numbers are. Yeah, I think it was the There's uh, a word page. for it, it's something mountain. Oh, it's for the, I the Raiders page named it though. Oh, the Raiders, okay, I guess the Raiders used to play here. Yeah. But I'm looking over here at some of the numbers that are up here. So number nine, I'm guessing is Reggie Jackson. Of course, Ricky Henderson, that's an easy one. Dennis Eckersley, that's an easy one. 
and then number 34, okay, Catfish Hunters 27, and then 34 would be, is it Raleigh or Rolly? I always called him Rolly Fingers. Rolly Fingers. He had the, the little handlebar mustache. He had the twisty, curly mustache. You don't remember? No. My friend Tim Tracker, he used to have the same kind of Rolly Fingers mustache. You ever see the old, the old TV shows where a villain would tie someone to the railroad tracks and they go, <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, we got a review going over first. Kevin Cash walking out. Okay, they're on the horn, trying to watch the review. Kevin Cash at, out to talk with. Hey, he's got a guy on first that he was safe. They're challenging him. The pull on the field stand. Okay, is this the hot dog guy we gotta get a hot dog from? I think it might be. Right here. He's the one with the dogs, right? The fresh dogs? I'm gonna get a hot dog here. Hot dog! Give me an A! Let's go, Oakland! Let's go, Oakland! Let's go, Oakland! Let's eat hot dogs! All right. You were highly recommended earlier by someone. Absolutely. They can't, they can't stop talking about my wieners. <laughs> it's the word around the Coliseum. The word around the urinal troughs. <laughs> Hot dog! Hot dog! My first time here. Never been here before. I like it. I like the stadium. How long have you been around? Decades, right? Kinda. You've lost count. <laughs> All right. See you later. Good to see you. Two outs. Ninth inning. Two strikes. One more strike, and the Rays have won. Here in Oakland. Right field going a little wild. That's it. Game's over. The Rays win. The Rays win. And just like this, that, they have turned off a lot of the lights, the scoreboard, all the ground crews still out there taking care of business. But the lights have been dimmed on this side. Scoreboards have been turned off. Now these lights are still on. These lights are still on. But I guess the scoreboard just being turned off kind of kind of put a damper on the on the light. What'd you think? Great time. It was a great time. Always, always. You got yourself a towel, a rally towel. Now the A's did not get the the A's did not get a rally going, but you do have a rally towel. I got it. You got the you got the rally towel going. It's all good. And I can say that I have been to a baseball stadium that has a worse turnout on a weekday than Tropicana Field. But it just so happens that the team that plays at Tropicana Field was here, so that probably didn't help boost the attendance much. But I was happy with the outcome. Good to see Razor back to getting a win. Making, make, up. I'm being, I'm being called all ahead to leave. Don't have to go home, but we can't stay here. Being told to go up the ramp here. I had fun, I thought it was a cool stadium. The dive bar stadium. Baseball's last dive bar. Maybe the last season too. Oh yeah, Catfish Hunter did pitch a, pitch a perfect game here back in 68. That was the first year. Oh yeah, 25 games into their inaugural season. How cool is that?
There's Reggie. To the bottom of the other ramp of 120. Awesome. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Follow it around to the bottom of the ramp. All the way. So if you go up here, follow it, then there's a little hallway that's got Ricky Henderson and Dave Stewart. Okay, awesome. And that's going to do it for today from the Oakland Athletic Stadium. They have been here since 68, and they are rooted in Oakland. For now. You said it, I didn't. I mean, look at all those bugs up top there. Holy shit. Yeah, we don't have a lot of bugs in California. This part of California, at least. That's a lot. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.